three people on. What's up guys? Welcome back to the Arctic Vet YouTube channel. My name is Trevor and today we're going to be taking off the alternator on my 1997 Chevy Corvette. So this is an LS1. This should work for uh, many others. Uh, many other LS's. I'm sure that they're similar. So the first thing we're going to do is remove the belt and to remove my belt I'm going to loosen not tighten <laughs> but loosen my tensioner here which is a manual tensioner it's actually a K-Tech tensioner I just recently put on oh, there we go and just like that she's loose and now our belt we should be able to pop off of here yeah just like so so there we go belts out of the way we're actually going to take that all the way off because we're doing more than just an alternator but this is going to be one of many steps in the process before you start this disconnect your battery so we're going to disconnect the positive. Uh-oh, I'm going to lose my wrench. I really don't want to lose that back there. There we go, so set it there. <clears throat> you definitely want to disconnect the battery first though, as I drop the bolt figures. Man! Uh oh, time to go get the magnet because now it's it's way down there. But me, I know I know you don't have you can just do one. However, I like to just be extra cautious and go ahead and remove the entire battery itself. Now that that's disconnected, we are good to go ahead and remove the wiring from the alternator. So let's start there. So, come over to the alternator. And we're going to reset that wrench. Break that loose. Now you can see our belt will just slide right on off. Perfect. And we could actually probably take that belt almost all the way out. We're just going to stick it down there for now. Leave it out of the way. So, our second bolt for this alternator is right down here. And we may ooh, cut it close. Thought we might have to get an extension which I have right there but we don't actually need it so now I got that bolt loose and this bolt loose we're gonna go ahead and do the back half here pop that off answer this phone call be right back all right so now that we got the battery unplugged you unplug this and then you want to uncover that guy which I believe is also a 15 millimeter it is not rip my phone's flying down okay my phone's gone now oh well who needs that anyways let's figure out what size this is so everything else was a 15 and that one feels like a 13. Let's go ahead and give that a shot. So 
Yep. There we go. So go ahead and get that all loose. It's really chilly out here. But that's how we're doing it. It's going to get done. One way or another. Dang. The whole rubber piece just gets in the way. And I dropped the bolt. But there we go. Now I can bend that up out of the way. Finish getting these two bolts out. And we will get the alternator removed. And you can install your new one in the same way. Put these two bolts in. We're just going to set them right there. That one needs loosen some more. Just so we'll grab our socket again. Here's how you do it with one hand. Just sit down. Get on there. Cool. You know, I'd be like, man, how are you not bending over your Corvette so much? Why is it up so high? It's sitting on a trailer. So, almost got the second one out. But like I said, installing is going to be the same way. It's, it's not much of a difference. You just do everything in reverse. That button and go. So thanks to Dylan here, we realized that there are four bolts. So there's one here, one down there, and then these two right back here. And they're they're all 15 millimeter. So take those out and then use a pry bar. Rip. We go me. Okay, now it's going. And also, quick reminder: when you're doing this, you will have two different bolt sizes. The smaller bolt is for the back bolts on the alternator. The longer ones are for the front. So now we're going to try and pry down here. Maybe. There we go. Just like that, she's removed. Man, the bitches are heavier than I remember. So... There you go. If, that, if you need to remove your alternator on your LS1, that's how it's done. And maybe we'll clean it. Probably not. Probably clean the connection. <laughs> just to be <laughs> That'd be a good side. idea. Because mine is fine. Mine works. So I'll make a video later on how to reinstall it. Catch you guys later. If this video helped you out, smash that thumbs up button. Don't forget to click that red subscribe button for more. And drop those comments down below. Let me know if this video did help you remove your alternator. Have a great day.